Before this video starts, I'd like to say hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can join the notification squad and comment down below for a chance at winning a shout out in the next video. What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a working drivable tank and you can implement this to do like cars, trucks or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and get inside this tank here. You can see exactly where I'm at. I'm going to get inside of it and the cool thing is you can actually shoot entities. So let me go ahead and just shoot one there and shoot this one there. I could uh, move around, I could shoot those, I could shoot that one over there. So it's really cool the way this works and you can drive it anywhere you want. It only goes in the four directions, north, south, east, and west. So uh, I could, I'm getting closer to this building here. So I'm actually gonna move in this direction. Let me shoot those and shoot all of them over there. Uh, but I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna get a little bit closer to this other tank so you guys can see. Uh, exactly that it's moving so there's the other commands so I'm actually gonna get out right here so I'm gonna go ahead and stop I'm just gonna jump out here uh, and let's go ahead and take a look at the commands. so you can see that I was over there and this is perfectly moved over here so it's pretty cool uh, and this is how you do the shooting system so I'll show you guys that part first and then I'll show you guys how to do the tank driving and the cloning so the first thing is going to be this command here. It's going to execute it name equals fire, and then it's going to teleport it constantly in front of you whenever you throw it. That's exactly what this command does, and this is named fire uh, to give it a cool little tank missile thing. Uh, now this is going to do the same thing, but it's going to execute the name fire and then not a minecart, not an item, and not a player. And when it does that within three blocks of the named fire, it will summon a ender crystal. And then it will immediately kill the ender crystal, which is pretty awesome, so you can actually just boom just blow stuff up all the time so yeah uh once you do that you're going to need to build whatever it is car truck tank whatever it is that you're building and trying to drive like i was doing there you're going to need to get the clone coordinates so you're going to need to fly up to about right here and get every single clone coordinates like this this is how you would get the clone coordinates you'd go and get them uh with coordinates over there on the screen uh, and then you're going to need to get in each direction. So this one is facing that way. Uh, so you're going to need to be able to look at those. I'll show you which way is... Uh, well, it depends on your world too. Because uh, my way on this world might be this way on your world. So you're going to need to think about that. But once you build every single thing in each direction. So that way, this one's facing that way. This one's facing this way. And that one's facing that way. Once you have it something like this, you could then start cloning the actual build into being able to be drove. So if you guys aren't familiar, I have a command that lets you be a vanilla car with the minecart. And we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to make it clone. Uh, so the first one here is going to be doing the RY22, RYM negative 22. And it'll execute at E type equals a minecart within one block. So basically when you're inside the minecart, it's going to see if you're looking in this direction. And then if you are, it's going to teleport the minecart point to one here and then if that happens it will then clone the tank and you're going to do the clone coordinates yourself and then this one's going to be a negative three nothing and then a negative five so that way it puts you in the center of the tank so you can actually drive it and then you're going to do replace force so i'll try and have these in the description for you guys to copy and put into your own world so you can test it out but this is more of a proof of concept uh, for you guys to be able to see that you can actually have vanilla tanks you could do some cool stuff without having add-ons or anything else so this one over here is going to be seeing if a player is looking in this direction of the y-axis and then if so it's going to be doing the same thing but it's going to be a negative 0.1 on the first little up arrows there and then this one over here like I said it's going to be the same coordinates with uh, looking in that direction and this one's going to be negative 3 and a negative 6 or a negative 6 negative 3 replace force uh, so let me go ahead and get a copy of this right here. Uh, and this one is looking in that direction for me. And let's get a copy of this so you guys can see it. Uh, and that one's looking in that way. So the Y on my world is looking in that direction. Uh, so remember that. And all of these are the same. These are going to be executing at the minecart. And then it's going to feel like this. And it's going to be air. And the only reason you're going to do that kind of fill command is because the tank is bigger. But if you have a smaller car, you don't need the fill command to be that big. You're just wanting to make sure when you turn this way, uh, when you clone that tank, of course it doesn't leave uh, this tank halfway kind of inside that tank. You know what I mean? So you don't leave uh, builds as you're trying to drive it laying all over the world. You want it to be perfectly normal like that. 
uh, so that way it always works and they're all the same thing they're the exact same command and all those uh, which is a comparator and a repeater so the moment you look in that direction it'll feel everything and then go ahead and clone it and you're good to go so this one over here is uh, let me get rid of these uh, let's go do that. Let's get fire. So this one over here is going to be when you're looking at the RY and negative 180 and RY negative 135, which you guys will use the same commands right here. You're just going to need to do your own cloning command. That's it. So this one's going to be teleporting like that. So when you're looking in basically that direction, uh, I will go and do this, which is negative three and negative six replace force plus your clone. Now the negative three and the negative six, you could kind of keep. Um, that should work on your world because if you build a tank similar, but if you, depending on what you're building, you're going to need to play with the last coordinates of the clone. That's where it's going to be centering on the player of the minecart. So remember that. So if you have like a build something like this, you want to kind of center it so you could play around with those and kind of get it to where it looks really cool. Uh, so moving on, this one is the negative 68 and negative 112, same command. Uh, it's teleporting like that. And then this one over here is going to be doing the clone, and it's going to be negative 4, negative 2, replace force. So if you guys don't know, when you clone something and you do replace force, that means it's basically going to clone this right there. So like if I'm cloning this, it's going to take this and move it over there and then replace everything there and force it to move. So it's going to move this build over there and if you constantly use something like teleporting it in a minecart, it'll keep using this build over there, which is really cool. So you can actually create some really cool stuff like this. It's kind of, I'd have to show you guys in a command block school. But anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and comment down below. I'll try and make a small mini game, maybe this weekend or something, where you can actually use like two different tanks to fight. And you can look at the commands, you can look at the build and be able to download maybe a map. I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Dave from